skin, big bandage. Hey everyone and welcome back to the Acne channel. I just wanted to jump on here and do a quick little video for you guys. Something that I stand by like crazy that I haven't really spoke about, but it's something real. Okay, so this is more of like a vlog style video. I'm not sure if this is something that you guys want to see more of, um, but yes. Yeah, so we did just have the holidays, you know, that can be very stressful for a lot of people and also leads to wearing makeup and like, I'm not saying that everybody wears makeup. I Personally, I do wear makeup sometimes, mainly on the weekends, not always throughout the week or at work or anything, but I do sometimes, like if I'm going to a family gathering or something, I like to kind of touch up and just kind of put on a tiny face. My makeup is kind of worn off. It's pretty late tonight. Had a couple drinks and I just had something pop in my head. I'm like, I want to speak on this. So yes, if you are new here, my name is Brandon Marshall and I do videos here on the Acne channel. I am a Banish Warrior and I don't know why I'm using my hands so much, but so had a little miss out this weekend. I actually went out for my cousin's birthday. She's from 21, so you know how that goes. And it was around the holidays and just very stressful. Well, one of the nights I didn't cleanse my face and usually when I like drink or anything, I'm super, even if it's really late, I'm super crazy about doing my skincare and making sure that it gets done. Um, I actually, one of the nights, only used micellar water and wiped all my makeup off. I was like, it's fine, I'm tired, like, my makeup is off completely. That's not the case. Sometimes you really need an extra boost, even if you're feeling maybe on the tipsy side or tired side or whatever it may be. You might not drink, but you might be really tired and just be like, fall back into your comfy bed and be like, oh my god, I just want to sleep. I don't want to take off my makeup. Let's not do that. So I am not coming on here to show you guys my extensive skincare routine. That is definitely for another video, but I wanted to kind of like make it known i mean i'm sure most people know but also when you're struggling with acne you want to kind of do everything you can to combat getting any new breakouts and like i have said in some of my recent ones i've just been really focusing on my acne scars and not as much on my acne but mr brandon was great at taking his makeup off clearly and look who decided to show up she decided to show up so she is here i wanted to show you the painful painful little baby that just appeared on my face and yes I should not be touching it because I do not want to spread any bacteria but yeah I wanted to kind of like show you guys what you really should do so a product that I definitely swear by is the micellar water by Garnier and I haven't used many others but I do really like this one and I don't wear any eye makeup or anything but this does really well at getting my brows off my skin makeup everything right now I just have a little bit of foundation a little bit of bronzer it's nothing too crazy, but I definitely want to make sure I cleanse all of that off my face. So, like I said, I'm going to be taking a Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water right here. It's supposed to remove makeup, waterproof mascara, cleanses, refreshes, whatever. It does not cleanse completely. We are not only using this. So, like I said, I did only use this one day, and that was a mistake. So, I'm going over this big bumps of it that hurt. Like, you know those ones that are just like super, super painful? Yeah, that's, that's this one. So I just want to kind of cleanse all that extra foundation off. And even though it looked like I wasn't really wearing much, there definitely was some in this, this other part of the picks up a lot. And now a skincare product that I have ranted and raved about in prior videos is the Angels on Bear Skin Blush Cleanser. So you definitely want to make sure you cleanse after removing makeup. Do not just use your cleanser to remove makeup because that can be very harsh on your skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this cleanser right here just to clean any extra dirt or makeup off of my skin. And then I'm gonna be showing you a, another way to use the activated charcoal mask that's really gonna help my current breakouts. So you're gonna have to right there. my skin completely dry. Like I said, I had a little breakout right here, a little breakout right here, and that is my own doing. That is me being kind of careless. I usually do not do that, so. And tonight, I'm gonna be moisturizing with my CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion, which is a lifesaver at restoring any moisture that might have been stripped away when I was cleansing.
So I would call this more like a lazy night routine. So most of the time I would use my serums and maybe even use like an eye serum or something like that. So this is more of just like kind of tired, maybe a little lazy, stressful day. Still doing some skincare to help my skin, but at the same time, it's not my full extensive routine. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you another use for the activated charcoal mask, which you guys know that I ran rave about that I love so much. I'm just going to be putting a very, very small amount in this little bowl and adding a little bit of water. As you may know, this mask is really good at drying up any acne, taking away makeup, um, dirt, anything. And also, one of my favorite masks ever. So I'm just going to be taking a cute head and kind of mixing in a little bit of water with the activated charcoal mask just to make sure it's a little bit wet. And then we are going to just kind of dab this on the spots. And yes, we're using it as a spot treatment tonight. So this helps so much overnight drying up any active pimples. I seriously swear by the same to my mom. I'm like, she's like, what do I do for my active pimple? I'm like, you need to put some of the active and charcoal mask. It may not, it's not going to go over away overnight, but it definitely shrinks it a lot. It will dry it up, so just put it there. I'm kind of layering it here because I do sleep on this side of my face sometimes, but I'm going to try to sleep on this. Sometimes I will be on this side, so just make sure there's this side there. And voila, I think those are my only active couple of zits right now. So we just let those dry. And my contacts are out, my teeth are brushed. It's time to enjoy my comfy, comfy bed. So yes, that was just a quick little nighttime routine that I wanted to do for you guys. Um, like I said, I made a mistake a couple nights ago with not completely cleansing my skin, and I do not want anyone to make the same mistake, especially if you are battling with the acne. I know sometimes it can be super, super hard to be like, all right, Let's do the skincare routine. I'm tired. I want to sleep. But you can also take some shortcuts sometimes. That is completely okay. We are all human. We are not perfect. We're not always doing our 20 step skincare routine every single night. I know I'm not. I know that sometimes. Sometimes I try, but sometimes I'm just like, oh, it's bedtime. So, yes, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I will. Have all the links down below if you want to check out the activated charcoal mask as well as my instagram and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys